at the height of her film career, she had been ordered to rest. All summer, she embraced the landscape. Tasted the sunshine. Smelt the clouds. Touched the sky. We were staying at the same boarding house. She described her life only in terms of where her father had been posted. She was a military brat, the same as me. Always on the move, it was hard to make friends, and if and when you did, the pain of separation would soon follow. On one of our walks, she asked me to explain a phrase she had read, the little death. I said it was not an actual death, just post-coital sadness. She described another theoretical death. Every year we passed through our death day, the exact time we will die, one day in the future. Unlike birthdays, death days are not celebrated. Death days are not even acknowledged. She never talked about her feelings, but I hope the two of us together could make a whole person. We were close only the once. Next day, she was gone. In despair, I followed. I discovered a taxi had taken her to the railway station. city, state to state. I realized that she was retracing her life. I nearly caught up with her at one apartment. When I got there, it was too late. Many days later, I was tipped off as to her whereabouts. I tried to calm my excitement, my anxiety, and my dread. At last I found the courage to confront her. She did not recognize me. Slowly I realized that she was going back in time. She was traveling away from her death day. I was part of her future therefore unknowable. <laughs>